Hey everybody, it's Chris from Drone Geek Lancaster here with another edition of Sky High History. Today I'm touching on the life and legacy of a man whose influence still ripples throughout Lancaster County to this day. So without further ado, and in celebration of his recent birthday, let's talk about Thaddeus Stevens and his esteemed housekeeper and partner, Lydia Hamilton Smith. Thaddeus Stevens, born April 4, 1792 in Danville, Vermont, was a radical Republican congressional leader during the Reconstruction period who battled for the rights of freed former slaves and insisted on stern requirements for readmission of southern states into the Union after the Civil War. Stevens also led the charge to impeach then-sitting President Andrew Johnson. The efforts of Stevens and his colleagues were successful, thus impeaching the first president in United States history. Stevens' housekeeper and rumored domestic partner Lydia Hamilton Smith was much more to Stevens than just an employee and intimate company. She was also a crucial part of his political agenda. Smith was intricate in planning and hosting Stevens' political events and was charged with the responsibility of entertaining those invited to the events. There are many odes to Stevens throughout the Greater Lancaster area, but perhaps the three most grand and interesting are Stevens' final resting place, which can be found in the Shriner Cemetery on the corner of West Chestnut Street and Mulberry Street, the Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology in East Lancaster, and last but certainly not least, Stevens and Smith's home on the corner of Queen Street and Vine Street, which has been preserved as a Lancaster City historic site. Well, I hope you learned something you didn't already know today, and I hope that you come back to learn some more in the future with Sky High History. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel, maybe even hit that bell icon to turn on notifications when I post new videos in the future. It helps me out more than you could even know.